His breathing was bad last night and even worse this morning. Oh. He's a lymphoma survivor, an asthmatic, but he's never been this bad. Well, his COVID test was negative. Niall, is the oxygen helping? I'm pretty sure that's your call. <laughs> he never takes anything seriously. That's why she loves me. Do you know how he got these scratches on his hands? Oh. We went mushroom foraging yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna get my colleague to take a look at him. Is that okay? Hey, uh, I've got a patient in the procedure room, Niall Fing Cannon. He's got some pretty serious lung issues. Lymphoma survivor, go from bottom in. What does his chest x-ray say? I'm looking for Niall Fin Cannon. Uh, Niall's my patient. How can I help? I'm his boyfriend. Uh, Dr. Reynolds was just heading over there. He can show you the way. Follow me. Michael. Hey, baby. Uh, can I help you? My boyfriend was brought in. Niall. How'd you know? Follow me. Bigger room. Don't be such a square. In other news, Niall is now on treatment for amanita mushroom poisoning, and so far, so good. I'm gonna go give us Claude the update. Do you think you can be in one of those uh, polyamorous relationships? Okay. You are in a really weird space, and I like it on you. No, no, seriously, could you? I think the jury is still out on me in relationships in general. You. There is no way I can share my person with someone else. Uh, and what makes a person yours to share anyway? I don't know. It's, it just seems wrong to me, like morally. Morally, okay. I mean, not every relationship can still look like yours and Evie's. Uh, I think it's better if they don't. It's hard to find a person, period. Let alone share them. Yeah. Especially people our age, you know, with all this history. History isn't always a bad thing. What's happening? Oh, two sats are dropping. All right, we need to intubate. Which one of you is his medical proxy? Uh, okay, I need to do a lung biopsy now. Who can legally sign off on that? Uh, his wife. He's married? To someone else? Tweety. Maggie, she left him when he came out to her She body. broke his heart. They haven't spoken in years. Listen to me. Niall could die if we don't figure out what's really happening, all right? Now, who's got the wife's number? Maggie McGuire, I am Dr. Reynolds. How is he? Well... Niall's lung biopsy shows interstitial pneumonitis, and we're not sure what's causing it, but his lungs are inflamed and they're getting worse by the second. We'd love to be a part of your private conversation since the three of us are still actually in a relationship with him. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but legally speaking, Maggie is the only person here who has a say in Niall's care. It's pretty insulting care. for you to cut us out like this when we're the ones who've been here all day worrying about him. All right, I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. Dr. Reynolds, they can stay. I know none of you think much of me. And I still don't understand this relationship of yours. But I'm here now. Because I still love him. Maggie, your hand. African greys. My parrots. You have parrots? Yes. Quite a few. How are you feeling? Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks. 
You have psittacosis, Nile, also known as parrot fever. Maggie. Maggie, indeed. Oh, God. They won't be happy. And we haven't even done anything, Maggie and me. Just talked. Well, I thought polyamory was all about freedom. Letting people be themselves. You know, I spent years putting labels on myself. Monogamous, polyamorous, bisexual. But now, I want those three beautiful beings out there. And I want Maggie. I can't apologize for that, but I also can't find a label for it. And you feel like you need a label to explain what you want? It's terrifying to ask for something when you can't put a name to it. But there you go. I'm a greedy bastard. I want them all. I love them all. I just don't know what to tell them. I think you tell them that. <laughs>